Well, driving in the snow and ice can quickly become disastrous. From blinding snow to slippery roads, it's important to be prepared. Me Freeze spoke with the car coach, Lauren Fix, about the do's and don'ts of winter driving. Take a listen. Let's break it down. I know you're there in Buffalo. Talk about <laughs> when the conditions are slick, how long does it actually take the car to stop? Well, it's going to take longer because remember, if you've got all season tires, they really don't work so well below 40 degrees. So you really want snow tires. You live in Wisconsin, that's pretty normal. You live in Buffalo, you should have snow tires. If you live in Texas, like you were talking about, obviously that doesn't make sense. So what you want to remember is tire pressure is critical. So use the number inside your driver's door. Don't listen to all those myths and wise tales. You can get a gauge for about $5 anywhere. These dial gauges, just check the number against the number that's inside your driver's door in the morning when the tires are cold. And if you need to add air, you can either buy a little compressor, but remember the ones at the gas station are never accurate. You need your own gauge. That's a great piece of advice. That's something people can do before the storms get there. Um, right. Also maneuvering your vehicle. People who are not used to winter driving, or mm -hmm. if maybe it's the first snow of the season, you can get caught off guard. What are the reminders about driving and steering when you get into slick conditions? Well, your natural reaction for anyone is to hit, hit the brakes. You want whatever the situation is to stop. The problem is when you hit the brakes, you get that pulsation under the pedal, that's anti-lock brakes. People are still aren't used to it after all these years. They've been out since the 80s, and they pump the pedal themselves. That's the worst thing you can do because you're kicking the system on and off, and it's not going to be able to do its job. But anti-lock brakes or ABS gives you the ability to brake and steer. So the best thing you can do is very lightly feather the gas to escape the situation. If you've never done that before, find an empty parking lot with no telephone poles and literally hit the brakes, get used to that feeling and hit the gas really hard. See, that's like, and you'll find that happy medium. There's just a little bit of gas to escape a situation. Yeah, that's the way I learned growing up. You got to try it a couple of times to get used to that feeling. <laughs> um, also talk yeah. about how drivers can stay safe when it's cold outside, mm -hmm. when there's a winter storm event and they find themselves on the side of the road, either following an accident, car trouble, or whatever mm -hmm. else might be happening. Well, the idea is to be prepared before you leave. And that's why you want to find an ASC certified mechanic in the fall, or in this case, even now, if you're going on a vacation, uh, and then of course, again, in the spring to see if there's been any damage. But the key is if you're stuck on the side of the road and you don't have road service, maybe you're gonna call for a tow truck or you remember a AAA or even your brand new car, believe it or not, most of them come with tow services. So you may not be, you don't have to double dip on that. So you wanna call, but remember key thing, Number one, put on your four ways. Let everyone know what's going on around you. If you pull over to the side of the road, don't get out of the vehicle. You're safer in the vehicle with your seatbelt on. People get out of the car and they think it's safer. The problem is people look, where, where you look is where you drive. So if you see someone on the side of the road and you're going, oh, look at that person over there, you're more likely to drive over that way. And that's how you see mm. a lot of these crazy accents that you see online. So stay in the car, call for help. You know, if the car doesn't run, try it. Hopefully you have blankets and an emergency kit. And before you leave, you certainly want to have, make sure you change your wiper blades. And remember it's battery tires, oil, which is make sure you, you check the battery tires, check your tire pressure, oil, make sure you get an oil change, use full synthetic oil and change your wiper blades so you can see where you're going. Great reminders and tips. We appreciate it. The car coach, Lauren Fix, live for Fox Weather. Have a great day.